you know, at least when we saw the contagion with Lehman, and, and a lot of people are making that corollary now, mm. you know, a major global financial institution goes down, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really put a, a It'll be, it'll be a big headwind to global wholesale funding markets. Yeah, and, and that was part of partially why you know credit markets froze and, and corporations got basically crushed in the financial crisis. You know, what, what, is that a similar type of risk to, to now? Like, why, why is there so much contagion based on how small Greece is relative to the, both the eurozone and the global economy? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's just the the nature of uh, highly uneven bound you know highly uneven states that are bound in one union. So um, I mean. I, you know, Lehman is a good example, um, but I think, you know, today we're in a different environment where, um, you know, the leverage that once existed, you know, to, to the state of Greece is, is much smaller than it was. Um, and so it's hard to say, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, in a lot of ways when we say that it's, it's backwards, the European you know the eurozone. It's it's because you're trying to basically smooth the curve, if you will, with with you know economies that are rising and falling at different rates. Um, and so I think this is the the, the inherent problem. And um, I think when it comes to the talk of Greece leaving, it's it's less of a Lehman moment, but it's more of a, a, a political moment of uncertainty of what this might mean for the entire eurozone. Because oh. really. You know, there's nothing constitutionally um, that says a country can ask to leave, and there's nothing constitutionally that says we can force a country to leave. So, it's this very gray territory, and I think the risk, and we might have a chart on this, but you know, Bob Rich really summed it up really well in a, in a cartoon he did. But you know, it's an iceberg, and you see Greece on the top, and then it's you know, Spain, Italy, and Portugal underneath. And I think, in many respects, this is what the Eurocrats really fear, right? Is that you know, if, if Greece gets knocked off, what does that mean for the rest of the structure of the, the remaining members? Mm -hmm. um, and then what is that potential contagion effect? Gotcha. So yeah. the, it would seem then that the only way out is to <clears throat> allow these dysfunctional economies and to remain in the Eurozone, to remain in the project. And because of that, if you're going to allow them some debt relief or monetary relief through, the, through easy monetary policy, um, the, the net result is a lower euro. Uh, is that yeah. something that you yeah you basically to exactly you you subsidize the union right uh, you subsidize these smaller smaller countries that have their problems for the sake of of you know the larger union and that's I think that's just frankly here to stay and mm -hmm. you know I think what we're seeing you take that you combine it with our growth slowing uh, thesis and yeah we're our call is definitely for for a lower euro dollar I think we have a chart here that outlines our levels but what we're seeing now is a bearish formation, so that means both the the, the, the long-term tail, the intermediate-term trend, and the short-term trade are all broken. Gotcha. Um, so that's a very bearish signal across our models. And you know, if we continue to see a, a stronger dollar on the other side, um, you, you know, all the more likely that that this is this is pressure on the downside.